Welcome to Susanna's health page. Today we're going to do aubergine curry. First of all, I've washed the aubergines and we're going to cut them. So we're going to cut them into inch. So we give it great big chunks. Okay. Don't worry if they're a little bit brown in the middle. That doesn't affect anything. And once we've done this, we're going to sort them again, get rid of any bitterness that's in there. Leave them to drain for 15 minutes. Okay, we're going to sort, lightly sort them and leave them by the sink to drain because they do bring quite a bit of moisture out with them. Okay, then we need to take one large onion, peeled and cut. Dice it quite small. Get rid of your garbage. And now we're going to fry this. Okay, so I'm just going to put two or three tablespoonfuls of oil. This is sunflower oil, but you can use almond, any oil, whatever you like the taste of, any nut oil. Okay, while you're frying the onions in a separate pan, we're going to put 50 grams of lentils, 200, uh, sorry, 780 grams of tomato. Wash the tin round with water. Get all of it out, about half the tin at the moment. We can always do it, add more later. Okay, and cook that for about 20 minutes. Okay. Sort of the onions are very good. Now into that, we are going to add teaspoonful of turmeric okay also two tablespoons full of cumin seeds two teaspoonfuls of um, anise and two teaspoonfuls of five spice which consists of fennel, cinnamon, black pepper, cloves and anise. They're all ground. 
So we just cook that over just for a minute or two, just to cook all the spices. Okay, that's done, turn that off. And you can add all of this to the mixture of tomatoes and lentils. Okay. Clean the pan out and then we will get ready with the aubergines and we'll start cooking those. Right, we're going to also add four cloves of garlic. So just prepare them, peel them, and you can put them through a um, press or with me, I just put them I just put them through this dish. This gives the same effect as crushing them. It's up to you, whichever way you want to do it. Okay, just finishing off doing the garlic. garlic to the tomato mix and mix it in. I don't like to fry the garlic because I feel that it uh, it burns it so I like to put it in into a liquid like this and I feel you get the flavour is better but it's up to you if you want to fry the garlic then fine it's no problem. Okay, now we're going to try the aubergines. Quite a bit of oil. Okay. Once they're golden brown, then we can transfer them into the other pot. cooked quite well. Give it a taste and adjust. Put a little bit of salt in and if it's not strong enough or hot enough for you then fry some more spices to put in there. So adjust the taste and the flavour to the way you want it. In the meantime, we're still doing the aubergines. That takes quite a while. Okay, turn them over. I'm doing very nicely. Okay, so these are brown enough. Take a bit of butter, oil. Okay, so now ready for the other half. You will add those. Be careful how you add them because they are wet and the fat is hot and it's going to spit at you. Oil. Just add a little bit more 
till it's got something to fry in. And we'll leave that to fry. Okay, when the second batch is finished, just put that in here. Turn that back on, mix it all up, and really you just need to reheat it because everything's cooked. You just need to leave it for 10 minutes just to for the aubergines to absorb the sauce. Once it's all heated up again, leave it to cool down if you want, leave it for 24 hours because that will allow all the sauce to come into the aubergines and the flavour will start to develop a bit more. The next thing you do is add some rice to it. So cook your rice. For everyone, plain basmati, and that's how you serve it. Okay, so I do my rice in this container. It's a Tupperware container for fish, but I do it in here. I put one cup, I fill it with uh, water, just about half an inch over, and then I put it in the microwave for 15 minutes. And this is what it comes out with. Tip the water away straight away so you're left with this. Um, you can leave it to settle if you want to or you can dish it up straight away. So, some rice there and your aubergine curry served with naan bread if you want and there you are beautiful vegetarian and this apart from the rice and a little bit of the lentils is keto so you can just avoid the rice or you can just cut the rice down so that you can actually have a keto meal out of here but this is completely vegan um, if you wanted to you can add other vegetables to this you've got a base now so you can add other vegetables to it and there you have your aubergine curry